Lars Wilson, the director here at KITP. I really want to welcome, welcome, quote unquote, all of you. Uh, many of you are here in Santa Barbara, and I also want to thank everybody for participating, whether you're remotely or in person. And I really want to give a special thanks to uh, all of those who are in person and have been following our protocols, which are helping keep everybody here uh, healthy. So I, I wish everyone the best of health. We're very likely at the peak right now this week in Santa Barbara or California. So I think we did make the right choice to go uh, all remote, though, of course, we're looking forward to this all allowing us to be back in operation. The program has been operating for two weeks, as has another program in quantum computing. So just to give you a sense, at the Institute right now, we're probably running at about uh, three quarters capacity, roughly speaking. Um, and the protocols are working and we are able to accommodate uh, those few cases we've had that are positive that need to be isolated, we've been able to accommodate. So things are going reasonably well considering what we're managing. And again, it's really due to all of your cooperation. So thanks for that. Um, I want to say a little bit about KITP and how we do programs. For those of you who are new to the Institute, um, I, when, we, when we're in person, I always ask everybody to raise their hand if it's their first time sitting in Cone Hall. I can't ask that question today, uh, but typically about half of our visitors uh, for the conferences are actually new to the Institute, uh, which is a wonderful thing for us. And what I want to do very briefly is say a little bit about how programs come about. Um, we have a, a process where we work with our advisory board to take ideas from all of you, the community, and develop them into these long programs. So right now we're scheduled up through summer 2023. Uh, we are in the midst of the planning process for the 23-24 academic year. We do a one-year chunk at a time, and so that's well underway. But I would encourage all of you to think of future programs and also speak to any of us uh, here at the Institute. Mark Bowick is deputy director, myself, but also uh, Pedro Vieira, who's on the advisory board, uh, Lance Dixon, who had been on the advisory board, knows well the process. I would encourage you to, to speak with Lance and Igor Klebanov. I'm just looking around for names of past or current board members. Hopefully it's easier when I'm in the room. I can see everybody's face. I think I've got everyone. But please do think of future programs. Uh, I would say especially your community is the one community that uh, benefits from nudges from us. Um, but it would be better if we weren't having to do stimulated emission every time. It would be great if there was spontaneous emission from your community of great ideas. Uh, I think that's a fair characterization, uh, but Pedro and Lance are free to interrupt me. But we really do want to continue uh, the fine tradition of having great programs here in your discipline, so please keep that in mind. Uh, I want to thank the organizers for this event. Um, the organizers for the conference are, are Monica. I'm not sure if Monica's here. I don't not sure. I see Marek. Mark, thank you for your efforts. Igor and Pedro were the uh, conference organizers. And of course, uh, Sergei Dubovsky is the lead for the program uh, and has been doing a lot of heavy lifting to get everything going for the program. So I really want to thank all of those organizers for the work. It's a lot of work. I especially want to thank everybody for this rapid pivot. Uh, it was only 17 days ago that uh, we had a New Year's Eve telecon with the organizers and Mark Bullock and myself to decide what to do in the face of what was happening in the world. And our decision was made to pivot to online, which meant also we needed to add a day. So for all those of you who haven't paid close attention, there will be talks on Monday. We did uh, add another morning session so that we would did not have to suffer through eight hours of Zoom for four days in a row. So there is a Monday session. So please attend that as well as this week. Uh, the four the four mornings. So I really appreciate the organizers and all of the speakers for being able to to rapidly uh, move in this new direction. Pedro will be our first session chair, and as all of you know who've been here before, it's really important uh, to us and to you that there's time for questions and discussions. And so speakers really do need to mind their time. But of course, Pedro will be the one will be responsible for deciding if somebody uh, needs to be quiet and take questions or whether it's been managed throughout the process. It's a little bit harder this way than usual in person, but I think uh, Pedro will be able to manage that uh, quite well. So I want to welcome all of you as best we can and really look forward to seeing many of you I know are here in Santa Barbara uh, due to other processes we're undergoing with housing and things. I see many familiar faces and look forward to seeing those of you who just arrived um, 
this weekend soon enough in, in Cone Hall. Um, so I think I'll stop there and very quickly, if you just got a few minutes, if there's any questions for me before I hand it over to Pedro. I usually don't take questions, but it seems like there's no harm today. Okay. All right, Pedro, over to you. Thanks a lot, Lars. Uh, it's great to be here. So welcome everyone to this conference. So let me make uh, just a few announcements also to spend this last four minutes so that we don't start ahead of time. And given that we are online, it's better to be ultra sharp with time. So, so let me remind how the conference is going to work. So let me maybe share the screen and show here the schedule. So every day there will be three talks and one discussion. The talks, we were told that there is this x plus x over 2 rule, so it should be x time for talk, x over 2 time for discussion. So uh, Mark was relaxed enough to allow for 25 plus 10, so it's close enough to x plus x over 2. So the idea is to have 25 minutes of talk and 10 minutes of discussion uh, for each talk. Of course, if there are uh, questions during the talk, uh, I will be flexible. And then uh, we will have one discussion every day. The goal of the discussion, the main goal is to make the conference even more interactive and uh, informal. And this discussion, some of you might have been at String, so uh, it's a format that is kind of similar to what we did at String. So the idea is to have 20 minutes of comments or provocations or uh, general remarks. It's not supposed to be 20 minutes of review of the topic, of course. You cannot review a huge topic in 20 minutes, but 20 minutes to set the stage. And then uh, the idea is to have 40 minutes of an informal discussion on a, a different topic every day related to flux tubes. And uh, uh, so we'll have, as usual, three talks today, one discussion. And uh, as Lars mentioned, it's not yet on the website because technically, I believe, it has been hard to add this extra day on the website schedule. But there is indeed an extra day on uh, on Monday with uh, one final discussion by Misha and Arkady and uh, uh, three more uh, talks uh, in the morning. So uh, keep uh, that in mind. And uh, those that are in Santa Barbara, okay, so I hope to see you in the afternoon at, uh, at KITP. And um, I would encourage people, if your internet is good enough, to keep the camera on so that we can keep uh, a maximally informal feel and we can put everything in gallery mode and see everyone. And so if your if your internet is good enough, uh, and uh, it will be fun to to see people, uh, especially for the speakers, and uh, maybe we can uh, already go ahead and slowly screen test uh, Andrea, who will open the conference on uh, with uh, this flux tube talk. <laughs> 